Hi guys, my name is Ijaz Hussain and I uh, hope you all can see my screen. Um, here is my Twitter handle and blog and there's also a link for uh, that sample available under uh, SPDF uh, FX web parts uh, wrapper on GitHub. And so, um, so let me go to actually show you how the web part looks like and then we can talk from there. Okay, so um, so this is how uh, the web part actually look like, and um, so there's a couple of things basically in in this web part. Um, this is not really complex, but it's a couple of different uh, uh, components uh, add together uh, to make it more functional. Uh, so we have in this web part we have uh, a um, SPFX React reusable control uh, for taxonomy picker. And we have uh, another search box which we use for a type search. And uh, so this is a, a, a list of images coming from the image library. Uh, and uh, another component we have in here is uh, we have implemented uh, server-side um, pagination. And also, uh, so uh, so just to give you first of all, show you the demo, uh, and then we can look into the quickly code as well. So if I go into uh, the property pane, so you can simply give a name of the um, a library, uh, uh, which is um, I have here open is the image library, and uh, I have added a few sample images, and then uh, for uh, for text me picker, I have added a one text, um, uh, tons which you can tag uh, with let's call it department, and. Uh, for for the search uh, for type search, I'm I'm pointing to the title of uh, uh, the the images. So so you can give the name of the gallery here and also um, select the size of your uh, um, number of items you want to display on the page. And uh, once you say so you can apply, and so we have uh, this. Uh, 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 Kind of first loaded, so I'm going to just quickly reload this one. So we have a fresh. Uh, okay, so so first, so if I can I can quickly go to next and is um, and you know go through all. So I've got total 11 items in in the list. So you know so you can go nice uh, pagination, use the pagination, and then if I click on any of the images and. Um, Yeah, so we have, uh, I've used uh, uh, um, uh, Office Fabric UI uh, panel component, so it will take, it will basically uh, take that image you clicked and also will display a list of uh, all the tagging which are associated with that image. Uh, so, um, so potentially uh, this can be used uh, not just for images, you can use the same web part for uh, uh, documents as well. So in terms of the um, filtering, if I, let's say I have a um, department called uh, sales, so if I can, this. So yeah, so it's basically pull up all the sales uh, uh, related images and uh, the same thing goes, and when I cancel this one and it's gonna go back to reset uh, automatically and uh, if I wanna start typing anything, let's press B, start with the boat, so it's gonna, so it's basically, a, uh, you know, use the type search and match the title of the images and bring back those images. So you can search that shop, looking for shop, it will basically bring that. Bring that. So that, that that's a, a demo uh, for for um, for the web part. And if we quickly look in thing, um, so I can I can go back to. Uh, Yeah, so basically, um, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for a couple of uh, my properties like list name. I want to make sure I have uh, the page size. As uh, so once I've got these, I'm, I'm going to my main uh, uh, web part, which is image gallery. Uh, so th there are a couple of things here uh, which I can quickly show you. Um, right. So uh, because I'm, uh, I'm building the pagination uh, uh, myself and uh, so I need to uh, need to kind of a uh, keep a record of 
how many items I've loaded before, and then construct the REST API URL accordingly. So that's why I'm using URL collection and filter query, span query, and select query. Um, so if I show you uh, the initial, so I've got method one method, which is read item. Uh, it's basically, um, yeah, so, with, with with the read this this method, I'm simply calling my uh, uh, this S, this SP service I'm using, which is basically I'm passing this URL and uh, uh, let me go open the um, did mount. Okay, there you go. So the first time when it loads, it basically uh, for, it, it's making two requests. First of all, I want to know how many items I have in the list, so I get the list total list count, and then. Uh, I'm building the query based on the list item count, and then once I've got the total list item, I'm making actually putting that URL in the URL collection, and then reading the, uh, 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 making a REST API call. And based on that, I'm basically, so if I show you my service, list service, uh, if, be quick one, so I'm checking uh, my allData.next link, so I'm keeping a note of because I need to maintain this one for a, a, a previous state and the next state of the, my a pagination. So I'm basically also when I make a request, I'm also checking for this auditor.next link. And uh, and based on that, because I'm keeping uh, putting into the collection, and when I click on the next and the previous button, I basically uh, subtract and add these and update the statuses and the, uh, accordingly. So, um, so quick one. Uh, so you would have you can. So I have a method with on click next, on click previous, and then I have a filtering on text uh, text me picker change, and I would search change, which basically uh, get the query and po uh, call this uh, method in their list service and bring the data and then uh, show you in the web part. I think that's 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 all from my side. Cool, really cool stuff. Uh, I think. And that would be really nice to have a kind of a generic service um, because this this makes a lot of sense actually. There's there's a lot of cool stuff related on loading the URLs and loading the data and then filtering the data. But awesome example. Uh, the uh, you had a blog post on that one. Thank you, David, for sharing the links and the blog post and also the, the sample. Really really useful uh, sample of showing how to make this basic uh, well not just basic stuff work but this kind of a filtering work as well. So really really cool stuff. Mm -hmm.